it's giving very much bombshell. Welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so in today's video I have to get ready for brunch and so I'm gonna film a get ready with me for brunch it's currently 1156 so almost 12 and brunch is at 2 so I don't have too much time to get ready but it shouldn't take me long so I'm gonna do a really basic makeup look I'm gonna take my clips and move my hair out the way without showing the sides of my wig that looks cool. All right, I'm gonna do my makeup first, then my hair, then outfit, then fragrance. You guys know the drill. So to prime, I'm using this Fenty Hydrating Primer. It's pretty bright, so it won't show up too much on my camera, but that's what I'm using. I'll take like two pumps of that. Ignore my lace, I'm gonna fix that later. I feel like you can kind of see it, I don't like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll fix it later. To conceal, I'm taking this NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Biscuit. I've hit pan on this, but luckily they sent me a package and they sent me a new one. And it's crazy, cause the day the package came, I was literally gonna go buy a new one. And so I was really happy about that. They sent me like three different shades. They sent me Biscuit, I think Caramel, and then another shade. But I just love this concealer and I'm mad that it took me so long to like get around to trying it out because it's been out for a while but I just started using it like a couple months ago and it's my favorite okay you gonna blend that out now using this sponge by Tarte my favorite sponge of all time For foundation, I don't really know because I mean, Nars has sent me these foundations too, the soft matte foundation. But it's like, I feel like it looked too yellow on me, and they sent me like three different ones. But I don't know, I don't know because Tahoe is usually my shade, but it looked way too yellow. Cadiz, Cadiz, what is that? Oh, that's darker than Tahoe, but it looks a little more neutral. And then we have. Valencia. You can't really tell the shades in the bottle, so I'm like, I don't know. Valencia is lighter, but they're both le less yellow. So maybe I can mix these two and see how it looks. I just know when I used Tahoe the other day, I think the products I just used in general, uh, like the combination, it didn't look good. And I used that new uh, Laura Mercier powder, the honey one, and it was way too yellow on me. So I think that paired with Tahoe just my makeup didn't look good to me. So let's see if I mix these two shades, how will it look? It looks okay. I like how the foundation feels. I mean, I just love NARS in general. That looks way better than Tahoe, which is weird because I'm always Tahoe, but Tahoe looks way too yellow. This looks really good. Okay, cool. When I get near my lace, I use a brush and like buff it. I wonder if I can put foundation on my lace. Maybe that's why I don't like. No, I just gotta blend it better. I'm gonna use this brush to blend the rest of this out too. I can't tell if this looks too light or not, but in person it looks legit. So I'm gonna just keep going and like bronze and everything will come together. So to set my under eye, I'm just gonna use the original Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't like the honey, it's too yellow for me. And I wonder like if it'll look good if I mix the two, you know, to tone on the yellowness. But the honey under my eye is way too yellow and I've tried it twice to give it a chance. And I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't know. You know what will be great? And we'll probably have to wait a while for this because it took them a while to make the other shades. But it'll be cool if they did like a... You guys know Patrick Starr, how he did the collab with MAC? 
and like he came out with like a, like a light pink powder they need to make that shade because I'm like neutral and light pink will look really really good so when they do that I'll be really happy but the yellow is way too yellowy for me and it sucks because I love this powder but it's so cool I'll just stick to the original for now so to set my entire face I'm just gonna use my Sephora micro smooth powder Okay, this looks this looks better. Okay guys, my lace was getting on my nerves, so I like did something to it and it looks more into my skin, you know? This isn't even HD film lace by the way, it's like transparent lace, but it looks so fucking good. I always trigger people on Twitter. I tweeted that like salami and hot chips is amazing together. And I keep getting notifications of people saying, I don't know what the hell are you talking about. But try it. Like get a piece of salami, preferably a thin one, and then the hot chips, the lime kind, you put them in the salami, like almost like a little like a roll, and you eat it and it's so good. I've been doing it for years, okay? Like, it's really, really good. It's like the best. And if you want, you get a little lime on it too. It's so good. I feel like I'm always telling you guys different like food combinations and no one believes it, it's actually good until they try it. And then you tell me, wow, I know it's really good. So all I'm gonna say is you can trust me. I have great taste buds, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. But the people on Twitter don't believe that because they're blowing my phone up right now. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? So to uh, bronze contour, I'm using this Dior, what do you call it? Backstage contour palette. I'm moving really fast. Like in real time, I've only been filming for like 13 minutes. If I wasn't filming, I'd be done already. I do the same thing every day. I mean, I'll occasionally, I'll occasionally like switch the products out, but I have my same routine. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. I used this Dragon Beauty Transformation Palette to brighten my under eye, my forehead, and my chin. I didn't even mention that i feel like i do it so often that i don't know it's like second nature i don't do remember to call that out a little bit to call to my no okay so for blush i want to take this fenty beauty kilowatt the sangria sunset and mimosa sunrise it's so brunchy right um i'm gonna mix both of them and just do that Not gonna lie, I doubt I'm gonna do eyeshadow because I have to film like a try and haul later. And when I do those kind of videos, I like my makeup to be simple. Like I don't like to do too much eyeshadow because not all eyeshadow looks good with outfits, if that makes any sense at all. So I doubt I'm gonna do eyeshadow. This is gonna be like a really basic look. But it's weird though, because like some people complain that I keep my makeup too basic, but then it's like I'll post on my Instagram story in like a very basic look. And everyone's like, oh, like post tutorial, like I love this look, blah, blah. And I'm just like, what do you guys want? You know, this is why I stick to doing what I like. I like very natural things and it's like, either you're gonna like it or you're not. But it's like, people confuse me because they make it seem like my looks are too basic, but then I'll do the most basic look and they'll be like, where's the tutorial? But I'm just like, this is the most basic look. I think people really like natural looks, so. I'm gonna keep doing them because I really like natural looks too. And I mean, I, I, I can do eyeshadow sometimes. It just, you can't beat like a soft, glam, natural face. You just simply can't. It's not the same. So, I like sticking to that. It's my favorite. I feel prettiest when I do like a very like natural, soft, glam. So, yeah. So I'm filling my brows in with this NYX brow pencil. I'm trying to debate if I want to go in with the cream too. Like I don't know how intense I want my brows today. I have no idea. Let's see. I'm gonna take this blackout box. Well no, I don't want it to be black. Well, yeah, fine. I just want to use a cream because even though like this powder is black, if I use a cream, it's gonna be even darker. Even even if the cream is like brown, so I'm gonna use this powder to deepen the 
ends of my brows. See, that looks good. Ooh, I like these kind of brows. Ooh. I feel like extra chill and mellow, like while filming. And I think it's because I have to get back in the habit of like filming, filming. Like I've been vlogging and I really enjoy that. Like it's actually really fun. But um, I haven't really like sat down and really filmed a video because I haven't really been consistent. So like filming's really weird right now. I feel like I'm new at this. And that's the thing with YouTube. You could be doing this job for like years. Like you could be doing it for years. If you go like a week or two without filming, when you sit down to film again, it literally feels like it's your first time. Like you feel really awkward. And I don't know what that's about, but it happens to me every single time. Like I'm not consistent or I don't film, like when I go back to film, it's very awkward, I make more mistakes, I stutter more, it's weird. Cause I've been doing this for like five years, like you would think that it's nothing to me, but like you really have to get yourself back into the groove because once you're out of the groove, like it's so hard to get back into it, it's kind of annoying. And then it's like when you start filming again, because you haven't filmed in a minute, you think that like, everything you're doing is somehow wrong. And so then like midway, you're like, no, I don't like this video and you stop. I've done that a good three times when I've tried to film to post recently. Like I'll be like, oh my God, no, I don't like this. Or no, like, I don't know, maybe I'm talking too much. You're just getting your head about things. It's really weird. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, my brow is looking good, so that's good. Love when we have a good brow day. I'm gonna finish really early. I thought I'll have to rush when she said two o'clock, but it's only 12:18, so I'm going to finish early. I can't believe I actually take time to blend out concealer. Like I used to just get a Q-tip and just wipe the concealer off. Who's been around that long? I haven't done that in like. I used to do that what like three years ago, two and a half. I used to never blend out my concealer. I would just take a Q-tip and wipe it because I hated how concealer looked under brows. Like you ever see someone, they do their brows and you could see like their concealer sitting underneath their brows. I hate that look. I mean, some people, that's their life, I don't really care. But like on me, I don't like it. But I learned to just blend it out and then I set with my setting powder. And I set my brows too. And I brush up. And that's how I get rid of that, like, you know, harshness of the concealer. I don't like that look at all. I feel like my lash tag did my lashes perfect this time around. Like, they look really, really good. And they've been lasting longer than they typically do because she's been using a new glue. Like, usually lashes, they've never lasted on me, especially because I do makeup and stuff. But whatever glue she used, it should work good. Because they still look really full. So now I'm taking this, I don't know what it is. It's like a brow set, it's by Iconic London. They sent it to me and it looked cool. It's like a toothbrush and it's called Brow Silk and you just uh, rub it in here and brush your brows up. I'm going really lightly though because I don't want to lose any product. But I guess this is going to give me like a fluffy like brow. So sure, why not? I've used it before and it seemed to work pretty good so. I'm just brushing my brows up. You know, I kind of want to add a little bit of this brightening powder under my brow bone, just to give like a lift, like that. Not too intense though, but like lightly, yeah. Cause I'll give your brows like a lift. Yeah, like that, that looks cool. One more thing, I'm gonna highlight my nose too. The brush I'm using is the Sephora Pro Shadow Brush. It's for eyeshadow, but it's good for like under your brow, stuff like this. I think it works really good for that. I'm gonna take this Dior highlight. I don't know if it'll show up though. It should show up on my nose. I'm placing a little dot right there. I'm trying to be able to dot right here too, but I kinda always regret that. But I feel like it looks weird with just one dot. You know, I mean, like a little line. Yeah, that's cool. This is the shade 003. I like this highlighter. 
I don't want to put highlight over here though. I'm not into that anymore. Well, at least like for the average day, I'm not. If I'm like really getting glam, I'll do it, but I don't know. It just it doesn't hit the same anymore. Okay, let's set my entire face. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair first before I do my lips. I love how makeup looks. Ooh, you can't go wrong with this kind of look. Oh, we tangled in the back, let me brush that. I'm gonna take some spray. So I have this curling tool. Ooh, you're hot as fuck. I've never used this before. I've never seen anything like it. It's by GHD. I'm gonna see what it does. I don't know though. I'm assuming you just wrap the hair around it, but I've never seen something with this shape, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But let's see what kind of curls it gives. I don't think I held that long enough. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this will probably be really good for flattening the top of your lace though. Ooh, okay. Let's try that again. I don't know. It probably works better with clean hair though, I feel like. Let's see. I don't know how long I hold it for. I've never used this. Or, yeah, it's like a wand, but like it's flat. So I'm actually really confused. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I like that. Oh, I like those kind of waves. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. I don't know if this piece is too thick or not. We're gonna find out. Let's hold it. This thing got hot really fast, by the way, in like five seconds. And it makes a little sound whenever it's ready. Ooh, I like these kind of curls. I think I gotta do thinner pieces though, which kills me, cause I wanna hurry up. So, are you guys having a good day? How are you feeling? I don't know why I feel like I'm talking to you guys. I think I've gotten to, even though I've only been vlogging for like a week, I feel like I'm so used to it. And when you vlog, you feel like you're just talking to, I don't know, you guys. And so that's, I'm, I'm still in vlogging mode, but if you guys are doing good, let me know down below. If you're not doing good, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish there was a way I could fix it. Maybe my energy will help you feel good. I get told that a lot. That's probably like my favorite compliment under my videos is that I help put some of you guys in a good mood. That's my goal. I am, you know, like, I know you guys will eventually get bored watching the same makeup and hair tutorials, but if you leave feeling better because of the energy I put out, I feel like that's more important. I mean, yeah, I want you guys to look good with your lace and your makeup, but I feel like, um, I don't know, watching a video and being in a good mood after, I feel like that's so important. Like there's some channels that do that for me. Like when I'm feeling like really sad or just down, I watch certain YouTube channels and it just kind of just like, you know, just helps me um, no, I just calm down and it helps me get my mind off of whatever's bothering me. So, oh, sidetrack. It does give you a really nice curl. I just wasn't using it correctly. But yeah, no, I like when you guys leave those kind of comments and I like whenever I can help, you know, put you guys in a better mood because I know what it's like to be in a shitty mood. I actually hate it. I despise it. I'm an Aquarius. I despise all feelings. No, let me stop. I don't want to to that narrative but I really do don't I really don't like feeling like negative emotions or sadness or anger I hate it I don't like feeling it and so um yeah sometimes like I'll question like damn should I still do YouTube I don't know like I begin my head about stuff you know like just doubting yourself typical human shit but then I'll get a comment like wow like Arnell posted and you know you guys are happy about it I'm like fuck I gotta keep posting it like motivates me. I feel like when you guys type those comments, you're just simply expressing how you feel, not realizing that like, I could have been in a really bad mood, but then when I read that comment, I'm like, okay, like 
I'm doing the right thing, keep filming, you know? So those comments are actually really helpful. Like, I don't always express that or tell you guys, like, damn, like, you guys' comments, like, the positive ones really keep me going and really motivate me and really, like, you know, make me want to do this. But they do. They do just that because I'll be in funks all the time. I just don't bring that to my channel often or tell you guys about it because I want to be a positive source of energy, so... You know, I'll complain about little stuff here and there, but I don't really go into depth about, like, you know, how I'm really feeling sometimes and, you know, when I'm feeling low or feeling just like I'm not doing good enough. I just talk to my friends about it and they help me, but I'll be in those moods sometimes and then I'll go and, like, approve comments and I'll see comments like that and I'm just like, get out of your head. Like, you're doing fine. So, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. I start to freaking... Then, but I like this curler. It gives you really nice, just, uh, I wanna do the front part over just to see what it gives me, but I've never used a, a wand like this before. And to be honest, if they would've never sent this to me, I probably would've never bought anything like this because I don't know, it's just not what I'm used to. And I, I don't know, I would've been confused, but I like what it's doing so far. It's giving me the kind of waves I like. I, I don't know, I've been into wavy hair lately, but it's like that effortless type wave. Like, not too tight of a curl. You know, it's like perfect, so let's see how this looks now that I have an idea of how it works. Let's hold it for like 10 seconds. Let's see. Oops. Blurry. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck, but I love the curls this creates. Cause it's like, uh, I don't know. I love these kind of curls. Oh, I'm happy I tried this out. I'll take my hot comb. Just comb this top part. There's so much product. It's giving very much bombshell. Okay, I think I'm done touching my hair. I think it looks good. I don't think I'm gonna add any more baby hairs. I don't think I need them. I don't know if I like this lens or not. I'm using a new lens and I like it, but it's a 70. And it's like the bigger the number, the more wide it makes you look. That's why I use my 85. And I feel like it's making my face look whiter. Cause in person, I don't know. I, let me stop. Um, I don't know if that even makes sense, but certain lenses will make you like appear to look different. And I, I feel like this lens is doing that. I won't know until I edit the video. But for lips, I'm gonna take this lip liner by the Mac uh, Mac and Tian Taylor collection. It's called Hodgepodge. Never used it, so we'll see if I like it. It's brown though. I don't know if you can go wrong with that. It seems like a lighter version of cork. I have to kind of really press down hard to get to show up on me. For lips, I'm gonna take NARS Tua Motu. I doubt that's how you say it. <laughs> and then, hmm, yeah, I don't wanna take this one yet. Um, I'm gonna take Buxom Kimberly. Pick this brown lip liner, or I think it's a eye pencil. I don't know, it's just brown. I just want to deepen my upper lip a little bit. I think it's Milani gloss. It's like a pink. I kind of want to add some pink to this lip. It's a little too nude for me. That's better. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, cool. Alright guys, let's all get dressed. I feel like I've been here forever. Okay guys, I'm in my closet. Ignore my really big lens, but this is the outfit I'm gonna wear. I have these shorts from Misguided, this top from Misguided. This shirt's from J Lux label, 
But if you mind your nipple showing a little bit, then don't get it because it's way thinner than I thought it would be. Usually JLUX label, their quality is very thick and nice, but it's way thinner than I thought it would be. And the shoes I have on are from Ego Official. I'm going to zoom in. Ignore my mosquito bites. I got those when I went to DC like two weeks ago, but these are from Ego Official. I don't know if I would recommend them per se because they're not super comfortable and their shipping's like hit or miss, but those are shoes that I'm wearing with this outfit. I'm not sure what bag I'm gonna wear just yet. Probably just a plain clear bag, but this is the outfit. Looks really cute, very chill. I feel like it's kind of brunchy, but it's still like me. It's not too dressy, but it's not too dressed down. So this is what I'm wearing. So now let's go and put on our perfume. All right, guys. So you guys saw my outfit. To finish this video off, we have to put a fragrance on. So for the vibe I'm feeling, I'm going to use this one, my soul. It smells very coconutty, very warm. Um, if you ever tried their bum bum cream, it smells just like that. And so... That's what I want to smell like today. Now I love this stuff because you can spray as much as you want and it's like not overwhelming at all. It just smells so fresh, so summery, and just really good. So I guess that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, it's okay, a thumbs down. Either or, it lets me know what kind of content you guys like and what I should continue to put out. And I'll have everything listed and linked down below. And I'll see you guys, I think I'm gonna post this on Monday, but if not, I don't know, I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm going to start doing Saturday weekly vlogs. So I don't know what day I'm going to post this video, but I'll see you on one of those days. Mm -hmm.